What is cambium? If you're curious about the inner workings of plants and how they grow, you might have stumbled upon the term cambium. So what exactly is cambium and why is it so important for plants? Let's start with the basics. Cambium is a special layer of cells in plants that plays a crucial role in their growth. It's found in the area between two other types of plant tissues. The xylem, which is like the plant's wood, and the phloem, which is similar to the plant's bark. Imagine cambium as a factory that produces new cells. These cells are not fully developed yet, so they can become different types of tissues depending on what the plant needs. When these cambium cells divide, they create new xylem cells towards the center of the stem and new phloem cells towards the outside. This process is what allows plants to grow thicker over time, a process known as secondary growth. There are a few different types of cambium, each with its own specific job. The vascular cambium is the most common and is responsible for the secondary growth of stems and roots. Then there's the cork cambium, which helps form the protective outer layer of the plant, known as the periderm. There's also the unifacial cambium, which produces cells in one direction. These cambium cells are special because they retain the ability to grow and differentiate even after the plant has matured. This means they can keep producing new tissues throughout the plant's life. In some cases, cambium can even form in response to injuries. For example, when a plant is wounded, a mass of cells called a callus can form over the injured area, and within this callus, new cambium can develop to help the plant heal. Interestingly, the cambium of many woody plants is edible, though it's important not to remove too much of it, as this can harm the plant. It can be eaten raw or cooked and can even be ground into flour for baking. So to sum it up, cambium is a vital layer of cells in plants that drives their growth and development, allowing them to grow thicker and heal from injuries. It's a fascinating part of plant biology that helps us understand how plants thrive and adapt.